Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom kids, we are missing you and praying for you, coming to you from the movable office again, how's it all going? So glad to see you show up and hear the word today from our mighty man in God, Joshem, who has sent in a scripture learning verse. Remember, we're writing the word of God on our hearts. So you might learn this scripture verse too. Over to you, Joshem. I'm sharing my scripture learning from this morning. Psalm 119, verse 9 to 16. The question is asked, how can a young person keep his way pure? The answer is given right after, by guarding it according to God's word. How do I keep my life according to his word? Verses 10 to 16 tell me how I can do this in a practical way. I will seek the Lord with all my heart. I will treasure his word. I will ask the Lord to teach me and share his word with others. His word must become number one in my life. So I will store God's word in my heart. God is so good. His word tells me how to live. And best of all, he has given me his Holy Spirit to help me. Thank you so much, Joshem. That was just wonderful and how encouraging to hear that you are in the Word every morning with your mom and dad. Psalm 119, yes, the Word of God is a treasure. And if we worry about things in life, we only have to go to the Word of God to find the answers. And the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, can speak to us and guide us through challenging seasons. Hallelujah. Get that word of God into your heart, kids. Memorize it, sing it, talk about it as you go about your day and as you sit at the dinner table at night. So very important, particularly in coming seasons. There are lots of things out there that we don't want to partner with. We want to stand on the word of God, the rock of salvation. Hallelujah. Big kids too, get into that word, write it on your hearts. That's it. Well, that's all from us. Just a short one from the movable office. Don't forget my three points. They're coming up on the screen now. We are missing you and we are praying for you. Can't wait to see you face to face. God willing, next week. Bless you. Bye.